in for the next couple of years as uh, part of how we're going to spend the rest of our morning. But before, right before that, I'm going to turn it over to Rob from Intel, who is going to speak for a couple of moments. Hey, Joel, did you like to for this? Hello, everybody. Hello. So I just wanted to say a few words um, and, and kind of make an announcement um, to everybody. So the first thing I would like to do is actually I wanted to thank uh, Ed and Gordon and Kib for all the work and support they've been giving us on doing some, some security mitigations that you might have heard about recently. Uh, they've been a big giant help for us and uh, helping us coordinate and do all the, um, make sure that we get uh, BSD uh, um, supported as soon as we make the public announcements and that's been going really well I think in this last year and all the coordination so really you should really give them a big hand they've been doing a lot of work so the other the other thing I wanted to say is um, thanks to, to all the security thing um, that's actually um, I started a, a group last year doing uh, um, for supporting FreeBSD and some of the other BSD um, OS's uh, because of the security stuff, but an opportunity kind of came up in this last year and, and we realized that we now we probably should be uh, giving more support to FreeBSD and some of the other BSD OSs and doing and getting the latest Intel hardware um, um, running the, um, the latest versions of BSD. So we, I, we decided to open up some positions um, up mainly from, you know, centered out of our Portland office out in Hillsboro. And so I'm interested in hiring some experts in FreeBSD or um, one of the other BSDs. So if you're interested, please come talk to me. I'll be here um, um, through Saturday for BSD CAN. And if, or if you know other um, people who are qualified, send them my way. Um, glad to talk to you guys about it. Um, I think we're going to be doing some neat stuff. So that's really just what I want to say. Thanks. Cool. Thank you. All right, let's see, did I get the right clicker? Okay. All right, so for our next session, we're gonna be talking about um, FreeBSD 13 and kind of planning and brainstorming. I'm gonna have a couple of slides to run through, and then this is mostly gonna be a group participation, partic I can talk, a group participation interactive session, so we'll have fun. Um, and as part of the interactive part of it, uh, we're going to write a bunch of stuff on the, on the chalkboard. Um, we're also going to take notes that are slightly more, um, last longer than chalk, um, on a hack and uh, collaborative editing thing. The URL for that is already on the wiki if you click on the hack and D link. I've attempted to kind of structure it, which will make sense as we go further. It tries to use a table because I think it'll be useful for tracking some stuff in the future. But if it's too hard to type the table in and you want to use bullets, we can always go back and make it a table later. Um, and if someone would kindly paste the URL to that link into IRC, I would sure. appreciate that. Woohoo! Yay! Thank you, you're already guessing. All right, so a couple quick things. I can take my clicker on. Um, so I just want to go over a couple of things that were in 12, that we shipped in 12, kind of as a way to get our juices flowing and give us a, like a sense of what kind of things we would like to like talk about today. So these are some of the things that happened in 12, um, which was, um, for some definition of shift, we should LD as a linker. In some cases, the actual user bin LD. In some cases, the linker doesn't link all the bases in the kernel um, on the, our x86 and ARM architectures. Um, other things like BD cuddle, we have data claim, and so forth. Um, in particular, I'm not going to read through them all, mostly for you to really get your inspiration. But things that have an asterisk on these next few slides are things that were on the list from last year. So last year, we had a session talking about what are things that people had that they wanted to get into, ideally for BSD 12. Well, with all the things with an asterisk are things that we talked about in this room last year that have been actually made it into the tree, either in a 12 or in some cases, the thing after 12. So I'm gonna sell one on one with one that wasn't there last year, but was on the food list and we did get in to 12.0. And some other ones that got in uh, included switching the bootloader to Lua instead of fourth by default, as well as um, something that's actually that has improved our ability to cope with patches from Intel, um, and being able to load the microcode at boot time instead of the own button, which is, in my opinion, it's a more simple way of doing that. Um, and some various other things. And even some things that we didn't quite make the, the thing to 12, but these were all things that are now in head that were discussed. And they didn't make the 12 for 12, but we did get them in. 
So we do get things in that we talk about, not all of them. There were several things on the list that are still not in the tree. I mean, there are also a sense of some of the types of things that people are interested in. So it gives you some kind of ideas for things to brainstorm to think about for 13. Yes, Simon? The loaded thing in XC to 12. Well, it didn't take 12 that oh, no. yes. But no, that's fair. I, I have not, like even ZFS crypto is actually already, some part of it is also with 12 as well, right? So I should say, these are things that didn't make 12 that oh, but at least they go ahead. I didn't check which ones also that MFC already 12 will be in 12.1. All right, and so I kind of already said the words. Um, yeah, so one thing is let's at least try to constrain our focus for today to think about uh, what we plan to work on or is kind of feasible in the next few years. So don't put world peace and solving cancer on the to-do list for what we're trying to do today. Um, and part of the reason we do this in the, in, at this kind of time slot is that uh, we're gonna talk a lot of, about a lot of things and we're gonna find out that different folks in the group have some common interests. And so you have time at lunch, you have time um, in the open hackathon sessions where you can find people who are interested in common things and start doing some planning and thinking about how you want to achieve getting some of these things to be listed on the board done. Okay, uh, actually we're gonna start. We're kind of gonna do the last one. The last slide I have, and these are a few things that I have, some of them copied from last year, of things that like, this is my own little to-do list of things for I would like to see in 13. I'm not committing to doing all of them, but uh, maybe some of them. Um, but these are some things to get us started, okay? And so, A, if someone could throw those onto, oh, I need a thought I should clarify a little bit. Uh, these are ideas. Um, these are all probably wants. Um, this is maybe a hat, so I should explain this one last thing. The way this session has been named traditionally is have, needed, want, and on the wiki I've tried to, or on the Hack and page, I've tried to give a little description of what those things mean. So a have, I'm gonna start dealing with haves. A have is something that you have, perhaps you have a, like a, in your local tree, as a developer or as a vendor, this is something you have that you want to build upstream. It may not be something that's like upstreamable today, but it's something you would like to upstream, maybe need some work, but it's something you already have that you would like to push into previous in the next two years or so. Um, a need is something that you don't have but you really kind of need, it's something you're gonna need in the future, like some new hardware anticipating or some kind of new feature that you're gonna be relying on that you kind of, you know, maybe you, and you might be able to coordinate with other people who have a similar need to work on slushing this out in 3DC13. And then a want is something that, it's not quite as critical as a need. It'd be a nice to have maybe, but like you don't have, your, you can ship a product without it and it's not the end of the world type thing. Yes, I, I may have a trademark on the word. <laughs> well, and uh, I can tell you that PowerPoint thinks it's not a correctly spelled word and has a little red squiggles. Um, yeah, so my little personal list, um, I would still like this to get, and I think we're getting closer. There's like a wiki page for like GPL and base. So for tier one, we are getting close to be, especially with LLB, with one of the, left, but the bigger ones. There's small things left now for like x86 and perhaps ARM having a system that out of the box is GPL free for the base system. Um, I, I am at least making some progress on killing corrupted toolchains um, and providing an option for, for things that can't use plain to use GPL v3. Um, Brex is already trying to remove lots more drivers. <laughs> Other people might also want to remove more drivers. But like drivers for things that are only in people's like basements and have like a quarter inch of dust on them because that's the last time they were touched, those kinds of drivers. Um, and then uh, these last two were part of my current warpath. I, I, I don't mind crypto because I have to deal with it now. All right, so that's all of I have of this. So let's switch, let's switch into have mode. Do we actually want to, we'll leave the slide on the, for your purposes, but I think we're gonna flip the lights. Maybe we'll turn the screen off. This touchpad is single threaded, so we can't raise this thing. Do we want to broadcast that? I mean, it's, it won't be broadcast. I can't. I can't but would you want to show it here? Uh, yeah. Or we can flip your laptop over to it. Well, the problem is it will quickly exceed one screen. That's and true. Who's done it before? Open up a notepad. You may have to move it up and down. That's what I mean. Is that like someone will have to keep moving the thing down? All right. Okay. Fine. I can be banned. Yes. 
Gordon likes being home. <laughs> I'm leaving that alone. <laughs> really, I'm just leaving them to turn on the Wi-Fi though. Oh, yeah, I have to break one of the cardinal rules of presenting. Are you breaking your Wi-Fi? No, turning on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I got to turn off notifications. No, no Slack, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's the race. Can I turn on Slack just to before you guys the, do anything about it? Did you Slack support the house? Now that would be funny if Kelsey would actually do the right thing on the little eyes. Oh, yeah. It is unhappy. What did you do? It's, yeah, it's beach ball. Hello. Oh, scroll up. Go back to all right, well, so why don't we just, I, I killed the one source of annoying notifications okay. for the most part. All right, so let's go back to the next. Oh, can you, I need to see my screen so I can fix it. I'm trying. All right, we will still raise. Pardon the interruption. So you can have start having ideas. Think about your head because we're opening up on the floodgates in a second. Does that work? Yeah. I'm not going to buy you coffee. All right. Or do you actually think it's better to write a scribble on the sides of the whiteboard and see the page? Maybe we'll scribble on the side. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So let's start with have. Have is the first category. Which it said is, yeah, we'll start on that um, Let's start with have, and if you guys can be very helpful to transcribe things over onto uh, the shared hackendy thing. So, who has things that they have currently in some kind of state? Does not have to be approvable today. Sign it, you're already ready. So, we have, at least there's working on it, featuring on it right now, we have a change to the Mac framework that we. Can you give a little more detail about what kind of change? Yeah, so that right now there's a, a Mac uh, check call in VN Open, ah. which happens before you actually open the file. We need a call that happens after you've opened the file. Oh. So some file systems uh, are the things we need to do the file was open. Okay. Yeah, make the file check open. Something like that? Yeah, so I think you call it a Mac. Yeah. And I'll put Simon. So another important. On it. Oh, let's see. <laughs> another important thing about our, our rule: everything in the listing is an owner. So if you look at the little table I have on the wiki, there's a person. So we need a person who's going to volunteer. We don't have to do committed. By committed, all right. Um, I should clarify. If I committed, I hope to post in it later this table and go back and add links to the actual commits that put these things into the tree. So ideally, we actually like wouldn't put anything in committed today, as opposed to saying time committed. But that's fine. All right. Well, do you want to talk about the other things? So you can't put something and have a, you can't say that you have something and then put an owner of nobody because who somebody has to have it. So all right, I'll start at the top. Open VFS. Oh, we know about that. <laughs> you don't need to discuss that further. So who put nine PFS and then like is an anonymous coward? It's it for you. I don't know what it was, but I think it's yeah, but it's it, it, who who owns it? Who owns these for years? I put it in. Congratulations. Who's gonna drive it? <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, this is just the server side, right? It's not a client, it's the like the device model behind. So DCH is going to, okay, just have to have people. We're going to need a lot later. Um, okay, Warner has things, and he's at least put his name on them. You're going to kill NetFS? Wow. Okay. And someone can flush out this one to be specifically about being yeah. open, because like Mac framework is all over the kernel. This is like a little change in being open. There you go. All right. Who has other things that they have that they would like to get in the FreeBSD 13 manner? Uh, 
graphics. <clears throat> if you can type faster than I can write, then we will at some point distance the top. Go ahead, Drew. Uh, you mentioned that it's sort of a two-part, one to the other. Can you repeat the questions for the screen? Ah, uh, okay. So, yes, sorry. Um, Manu said DRM, like graphics drivers for ARM64. Drew is going to do, but I keep going, and then I'll repeat after you finish. Jeff Rubberson has got a lot of DMs in the Okay, and so we have two groups of NUMA of love. Um, one from Drew, which is network related, some of which is already in the tree, like some of the tagging stuff I know. Um, and another set from Jeff R, which is more DM facing perhaps, or things like kernel stats and stuff like that. Okay, fine. Um, I've got a new Mac module that I'll be talking about on Saturday, which I'm going to be eventually some people. Okay. Um, what, is, what does it do? It allows, it, it takes advantage of Mac pre uh, Um to let you do things like running daemons non root but still able to do privilege operations. Okay. Is it? Is it it's a Mac placement for Mac program, or is it it's just called Mac program grant as a new the module is Mac uh, grant by label. So it, it leverages the verified exec stuff. If we can assign a label to a Mac package, it gets a Mac label assigned. And then okay. this module can do magic things with it. And that is also signed. And that one is signed in us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or already signed up to do PC card removal. <laughs> Not card bus, okay. I wonder. <laughs> well, now that we have PCI Hot Plug, at least I could test some of the things that used to be only tested with card bus. All right, who else in the room? Kirk. Um, Forcible unmounted ULFS file system in the event of underlying media failure. Ooh. You mean like an unmount minus F that doesn't panic as opposed to one that panics? Because we have forceful unmount. <laughs> <laughs> so, forceful unmount that is not basket of panic. Is that what it's more of a discount. I honestly, I'm not familiar. You sure hold me right. All right. Well, then, fine. I'm happy to not get chalk all over my hands if you guys need basket. All right. Modern technology. Justin, I think, was next. Yes, my minions have uh, claimed PowerPC. In the state okay. almost ready. So we can. So 13 is a reasonable goal for oh, switching yes. power PCs to client. I'm guessing that's. Right. Can we do the um, off charge for now? Hmm? Can we do the off charge for now? Okay, that doesn't mean I'm going to but. Where we renumber power PC to match every other architecture for the indexes and the log logs. No, we didn't do it. I didn't break it yet. Oh, okay. Let, let's break the inverse all at once. Yeah. Okay. Can we pick up? Like, how badly can we break it? Because the, the first version of breaking it, we just number them, and then no old binaries work at all. So you can't even like take a new kernel and then recover. Like you just completely hose. And then the slightly less horrible way of doing this is you reuse at flags, which will not get renumbered, and you can never use this as always zero. So we could just change it to one on PowerPC to indicate we're in the unified at. Maybe like unified app world and then run the link or key. Then we, once that link and look, see, could kind of check that to decide what to do. Well, but that's a little more work. Do we care about our procedure? All 12 of us? Yeah, I mean, that's not a loaded question right here. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I already broke our PC32 a couple of years ago and nobody complained. All right, we can do the easy way. I'm fine doing the easy way. I'm fine doing the easy way if you just have a flag date. Migrating to LP2. So Friday the flag day. Oh, actually, that's that's the easy solution. Then. That is the easy solution. Um, okay. Change the regular LP to use the alternate name instead of NAP whatever, and then have LP2 use the new name. That's probably and, fine. And just sync it at that point. And, All right. And, and, then, and then we'll actually, and then actually, that's equivalent to that flag's approach to that. Yeah. And we don't really care about the LP2 bit. In the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> a little chunk in the head. Um, the wrinkle, I'll give a mark, yes. The wrinkle with PowerPC64 is that we only have a handful of users, including me right now.
now for the Tower of Blackbird is a Raptor. Blackbird is supposed to be starting ship today. If not, then it's going to ship this quarter. Okay. And we're going to have a whole bunch of new users. And so suddenly we need to present them. I would prefer that we fix the health and fix this and fix that before all these new users show up. So that we can tell them, okay, 13 is a little experimental right now, but it works. Okay, I think it's kind of like the LTT transition. You'll be able to run them side by side. Or we could make that. <coughs> Um, LT2 is firing level 21. But is it a new ABI? Like, it's a new. Coexist. So that's, 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 that's Yeah. Different. So that will, will be. We can, we can make that. That's a question with Patrick Bill. To Friday? Yeah. Well, I don't know. No, 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 the LT2, we don't actually just fire. We have to wait for it. It's a different sense. like we have a good, good story there. Okay. All right. That, that horse is dead. Mark. Uh, it's not really a tweet that I wrote the team. I'm just looking around on the conversation. And there was a down. Yeah. The, <laughs> the drivers for HID over Ashford don't really have okay. anyone owning them. And, and, and. Okay. So you're going to own that. Oh, well, I use that. Yes, 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 yes. Mark is owning that, so you're all right. We're done. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, don't raise your hand unless you want to get a sign of work. Or maybe they change in. Yeah, that doesn't work. Either. So, I do. Anything. All right, any other has? Let's see how we're doing on time. What NVIDIA improvements does that have? Warner talking Slack or IRC, please. Warner, you said NetApp or is that Netflix? No, that's NetApp. Yeah. Okay. He said he had a chance for that. They gave him some stuff. Very, very detailed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Live kernel dump, is that equivalent to G core for the kernel? Yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. Did you have that? Okay. Yes, we've had it for years. It's just a matter of getting it, it's a matter of getting it massaged in place to upstream it. Okay. And I can edit looking over at you. Because. Why would no one want that? <laughs> <laughs> For the kernel, yeah. yeah. Who owns that? Builds aren't too hard to also put the new ones if you wanted them. You have to generate the actual profiling data that you care about in particular. Because, you know, LS means the geo. Anything, world, anything on the world side? Like, you know, outside the kernel? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, I know. The wrong room. Um, Andrew has some P-Trace stuff coming, right? Could put that in the list. P-Trace get ready to set. Eventually, PT get ready. Yeah. Yes, that is. Which Andrew? Yes, and Giraffe. Which I will make use of for other things. All right, what time are we at? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Say again? SDIO thing. Oh, SDIO, like for the pie? Yeah. That was on the that was actually on the list last year. It's still not quite yet in the tree. <laughs> it's like SDIO, the SDIO stack for Raspberry Pi is kind of a better way to say that. And then I think Wi Fi and audio were both like slung off of that. So you need the bus layer there before you can do either Wi Fi or sound. Okay. Ha ha, Aaron. Tell one or nice try doing Cal State. They don't have to check phone. Um, <laughs> okay, so maybe we can move on to need. This might be a longer list anyway. Everyone has to look. We're all needy people. Um, oh, Patrice and Colonel G. What do you mean you have that? That's already in the tree. No, no, no. 
This is me. Oh, oh me? No. <laughs> All right, so we move on to me. We move now we're in the knee. Okay, jeez. All right. It's like a chalkboard that scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my job. All right, and now I'm just like, never mind. All right, man file system that works. Wow, Stephen wanted me to talk, I guess. Um, okay. You, oh, you need that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, well, Stephen Warner should still talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Stephen Warner now has to talk over beers is what that means. I don't know if we need to be out of it, but maybe you can swap for it. Um, Sal saved the CFS boot code. We had a working group of buddy yesterday, but okay. no plan. All right, excellent. So yeah, so some of this so I guess I should say, um, if it's an owner, I don't know how long frame is. I guess owner is a good point of contact. But but it also these can be things that are like not like a have, they're not very well done, but maybe there's something you're planning to work on that's not done yet. It's a good thing to put in the new category. I need this if anybody wants to help me, that'd be great. Okay. <laughs> All test cases passed and no flaky ones on non tier one. On tier one. On tier one. On tier one. Wow. I wish I had a pony and a unicorn, but I, mean, not, I think that's very good call I just think it's very delicious. <laughs> Expanding on that, I want, I want no test failures. In no, oh, we'll get to we'll get to want later. We'll get to want. Whoa, whoa, no, that's, that, that is a need if we care about yeah. you at all. Yeah. So say again. No test failures in doing your VMs, which is to say slow machines. We have a ton of tests that are super crazy. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So you want to test and not presume they're running on an 18 gigahertz x86? I, 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 want, I want things to assume that sleep one is not infinity. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's in fact, you know, not time enough to run another command. Correct. Right. All right. That's fine. All right. Suspend so resume for ending new devices. Okay. Oh, please. Work. Well, so that's like half a minute and half a minute. Work for my laptop. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> on my brain. Yeah. You have timeouts, don't you? But yeah. I, but my chip said actually code. It comes back. Yeah, it comes back. Mine never yeah, had a problem. That's not actually working. It's just trying to get resetting and trying again. Yeah, but there's no corruption. That is that is only a function. Well, and because my chipset is okay, exactly. Because people with ZFS and other chipsets, they ain't happy. So it actually is something. John, are you saying that doesn't matter? It doesn't matter because it works for you. No, 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 no. I know Warner's working on it. Like it's like it's halfway between a have and a need. Actually, this is more accurate. He has patches that aren't quite done yet. It's really kind of a have. Quite honestly, we should put that in the have. All right, code coverage on bootloader changes if Qunion and Beehive. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, Warner, do you mean you want to be able to like do the equivalent of GCOB or LCOB or something to actually test this and verify it? I think it's the, the framework Warner and I worked on where you generate all 64 different combinations and try to boot all oh. of them. But we're not actually like verifying we're taking all the paths. Not not code coverage. Not code. Just that system coverage. So okay. Actually come all right. All right. Should we talk about like CI after that too? Like then? Well, that's effectively kind of what yeah. yeah. All right. It, it doesn't quite work that way. So now I can get to this one where I can turn to Steve and go, huh? Because it's in the tree. Wait. Arm 64. Yeah. I've run it on my little Raspberry Pi running. I've run JV Live. Which part's missing? There's there are pieces on the PTRA side that um, the PD parts on. Can you elaborate? Uh, I'd have to go back through some of the things that we've done. That's like we did at Sign Town. And then the PDB, the PDB for the kernel PDB is the, the remote the PDB protocol. Oh, the, that like remote the GDB stub in the so all right, we should tease apart from this. There are pieces that are incomplete. So, so the GDB stub in the kernel for ARM64, that's yeah. one thing. Yeah, I can totally buy that. Yeah, I put two things together, but I guess it could be separated. Yeah. One's, one's the ptrace interface, and one's the kernel PDB. OK, and then you should, we should talk about ptrace, because I know like floating point works fine, single step. I haven't done Harvard watch points is the one thing I'm aware of. Yeah. But other than that, it should mostly work. There's something getting some of the registers that weren't working. So. Uh, TLS stub, we don't export the TLS register. Which we need for TLS. We need other things besides cover watch points and power. So we, we have oh, we can, we can make it all fine. We have a team that's working on a, a project that's uh, ARM64 based platform, and, and they're trying to debug some things and it doesn't work. 
Okay, we should we should talk more. Yeah. Basically, th this one is production quality, you know, and kernel debugging on. Right. Okay. I mean, from what I've been able to test, it's actually pretty darn close to what we even have on x86. Um, x86, at least we can do TLS, and, but we can't do a core yet because we don't build the right in our core dots, um, for example. So. But the GDB step, like we should separate to in kernel GDB step and then ptrace, and then you can put me as one of the persons on ptrace, and we don't we should definitely talk about it. Abandon Spark 64, we're not going to talk about that here. <laughs> Locking EPA, well, There's the locking mandate, but it is. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of how Epoch fits into the nomenclature that that mandate wants to use. Like the mandate is trying to describe an over. For those of you who are not familiar, there's this man behind locking that tries to give an overview of all the different locking primitives in the kernel, which is already kind of fair, and it's a really long topic that seems to be a really long mandate. So like, it's more like rewrite that mandate to some extent, but. Better documentation for EPA may be a good way to put it. All right, and we also, all right, we're gonna go back to a goal. We need owners, so we can't just have, like, more tests made with code, that's um, that's not specific enough, that's like a unicorn with the fairy dust. So we can't quite have that. Like, if you have a specific test you want, you can put, like, a specific test you want. But we can't have big things without owners. Come on, this is more like a practice. Say what? That's not a mean But that's, that's not, like, the word, we're trying to make, like, a bullet list of items of things that can actually be done as things that get done and checked off. As opposed to, like, a, like standing best practices is a separate thing from <coughs> something that is a thing that gets committed. John? You might be able to turn that into make it easier for people to, I mean, I don't know what the barrier is exactly to writing the best um, For me, it's, I, I don't know. How about, how about what we need is documentation on how to write good tests? Yes. There, oh, there you go. So there will There's be something in the journal. Hey, no, all right, there is a band base for Epoch, which is more than there used to be. So. I will say, uh, during the PI uh, working group yesterday, we definitely discussed as input task on about improving documentation, improving examples and all that kind of stuff, and lowering the barrier of entry to death, and offloading more on to people knowing the code, getting the basis in it, and other people that you know, have to help craft the code. From Orbit. From all right. Orbit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're all violating the must have an owner rule. <laughs> Not helping. All right. We at least make it better. There is existing uh, epic documentation. And who's going to write it? Because if, if we don't have someone who's going to write it, then it goes off the list. <laughs> or well, someone who, who wants to be the point of contact. <laughs> All right. It could be the point of contact for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Warner, are you doing that? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, it's not enough stuff in the world. All right. It's good RM's it's not that hard. You know you want to do it, Joel. I've, I've hit my quota of removing architecture at the conferences. It's <laughs> <laughs> more than one. Um, I guess it's, all right, better I could have So it doesn't have to be someone who's going to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> People are terrible. All right. I'll get the reason to it. Who, you don't have to be someone who's going to write the epic condition. I'm trying hard. Um, but they could be someone who would just be willing to like read it and verify that it is meaning what they want in terms of better. So I need a name. Who cares about documentation for epic? And at least review new documentation to make sure it's better and improvement. So I care about it because I'm not even sure what the right use case is for it. I want more examples of documentation. Well, actually, quite easy because if, if, the, if, the, if the man page, which I admit, it, it exists, we'll say that. It's better than null. Um, if it's not where like you're happy doing it, then, then you are in a great position to evaluate if that condition is better or not. Well, we have to review something. But that's fine. You can have you can know that I just need a name. Um, so get rid of the more tests. Yeah, we're gonna drop this one. It's too big. Um, we have the more documentation around the good tests. We can leave that one up. Is there no, someone willing to write that? First of all, start working. Say what? Benedict is working on this. Ah, excellent. I shouldn't be the only one doing that. 
gibberish from meter. You never get the cheerleader. Cheerleader. Your own core and everything. Like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Somebody needs an two eleven AC. That'd be the VPA three. Is that the VPA three? No, I don't. I, I'm the wrong person to ask. That's the two next. That's the current standard and next standard WPA three is a separate entity that we probably okay. also need. Are you volunteering? I'm volunteering. Yeah. You are. All right. Wow. Okay. Volunteer or not? The WPA three then. Then are you yeah. able to do WPA three as well? The SAE support. The SAE the SAE support for WPA three. Is that something you can do as well? <laughs> I think uh, you were sounds like you could be the spiritual order. At least. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Volunteer something crazy, oh, yeah. you can add me to WPA3. Uh, ah, you, you want to be also? We have another candidate. Can I get a third? But, yeah, okay. WPA3, you can add my name to it. All right, so Philip, somebody has Philip. That's fine. Trouble. Yeah. That works. <laughs> Email for trouble arrives. You yeah. 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 have the uh, CCPM, so managing uh, things in source. And power management, I think, is something we really need to keep up the laptop. Is that related? Is it distinct from the federal control? I think it's related. It's related. Okay. Ah, well, it's definitely uh, related when we get, especially when we get into USB 4, it's going to get even more. Okay. We'll find out when we get into USB 4. At least that one will have documentation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was wrong. <laughs> that's three on the and other people who need it. And even put Chris as a point of contact. Unless other people would like to volunteer to place the pen. I won't volunteer you. You can even, you could, you could put me next to Chris on that. How are our CP schedules? So who's, who's, who, who wants to be a person for that? Well, oh, all right. Does anyone want to work on this? And run point who, who put that up there? We'll get to who put it up there next. All right, who put it up there? It's just on that. It's a good question. Well, it could, it, there are people who are interested in other architectures too. Was it an anonymous coward on IRC? Yeah. Well, we could ask on IRC. I can't ask on IRC. Oh, who's on IRC? Wait, it doesn't say there that they're looking No, no, they're saying they're looking at the coward to see who's typing. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, I don't know about those magic cowards. Now he knows. He's been listening to the live stream. Well, presumably. Okay, so. Is there anybody who's actually interested in working on this? Can we start with yeah. To who? And we don't get the sign at the end. No. And, and quite frankly, in power management, I think there is like a lot lower hanging fruit than this, which is a lot harder to do. Like, this is like 87 on the list behind like basic SCRIX and other things. Well, it's neat. We should put it as a neat though. Oh, you could you could put SRX as a have. It's like there is there are certainly a lot of it, enough of it there that it could be finished and upstreamable. Like part of the condition is have. So we should go but we should actually go put let's go back up to have for a second. I'm gonna proxy Ben of things that I know that Ben has worked on. How about that? Um and then I'm gonna volunteer some names that will help work on finishing. Um <laughs> so we're gonna have so yes, put SRIX, you know, we're gonna two separate things. SRIX, which is by itself. And you can put Scott Phillips, and you can probably put me from helping to reviewing some of it. Um, and then you can put um, Intel, kind of what Intel calls HWP state, HWP state, which is uh, not to be confused with AMD's HWP state driver. Um, <coughs> you could actually probably put Scott and me for this as well. Um, and this, although Ben is kind of mostly working and almost commit ready, uh, but this is. P states, but instead of having Power D try to do a very bad job of picking P states, it lets the processor do a much better job of picking P states. And kind of be different between CPUs, which Power D also doesn't really do. Um, and that's 
mostly done. So it's mostly just a little bit of polish in the end of the tree. It's up in a hat. Okay, you can go back down to me. What other things have you added? All right. So those two out of the way, uh, I don't know the word. Uh, mm. Yes. It is a have. It is. It needs to get shepherded. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we have? What do you mean? Um, that false thing. No, it's not. Awesome. Oh. So do we have a candidate for a shepherd? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and is it like a public tree? It's public. It's public. All I can for now, I guess. And if you're interested, come talk to me. This is what I actually wanted to be working on. Survey stuff with chloride. So yeah. Okay, so that's a that's a have. So yeah. if we could put that in a have. Um, you can perfect. Already done. Excellent. Okay. All right. You can go back to these. What are the things today? Okay. Yeah, yeah, but we could we could maybe. Package base can work. Like cage fight happens later, so we'll just like that. Okay. The security update mechanism that's not for easy update. We can all agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think the knee break is pretty good. Yeah, all right, we can put that in need, and then there's like 87 people's names that all go on that because you're like a lot of people working on that. Any other needs? Um, less Brad. IP filter? What? Less IP filter? 50% oh, <laughs> filter to cleansing fire. <laughs> 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 so, I, we really don't put, like, like removing things as a need. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be trying to put remove a whole bunch of drivers on my little slide. Um, I, if we want to have that discussion, I mean, do you want to drive that discussion and write an FTP and everything? Do we need one? <laughs> come to the SDNRM. Well, well, right. It is fair. So SCP is when we can't come to consensus on mailing list. We were free to start a mailing thread, but someone has to like be a proponent of an idea and drive it. Okay. Move my piece of Any other needs? How about a scheduler with awareness of security and maintenance? Ways to still have gang scheduling. Gang scheduling. Gang scheduling. Co scheduling. Okay. So that is a thing. It is a thing. It is a thing. We need a name. Mad. Is anyone actually willing to work on it? We'll start with that first. Um, I mean, like a a little bit more. I'm looking at like a Canadian over here. Okay. Okay. That doesn't work. All right. We'll put that as a name. So we maybe champion the idea and try to find a victim. All right. I mean, the needs are we getting, let's see, what are we at with time? I think you've done it. What time? Uh, I think we have at least. We've got like 40 minutes or so, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we also look at that time. Okay, so if we're running low on steam, then we can go to our last stage, which is want. This is where we get to mostly ask for unicorns and fairies, kind of, or still things that we think we might work on for, or, or things would be nice to have that are still kind of feasible in a two-year time frame. Um, still specific, so we can't just say we want world peace or testing code. Um, but a little more wishful thinking. That's what we're yeah. partly, partly because if there are multiple people in the room who wants to work on these things, this is a good time to coordinate. All right. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> just keep going. Oh, <laughs> <the money. laughs> Only one pony? Okay. Uh, insecure jails. What does that mean is unlike just doing a jail with slash and no IP because you're using the basis of the network, which is just an empty container? Is that what the dog is? 
Is this not there? <laughs> Yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah. Using, yeah. using jails to name like the concept of a job, like a group of related processes, sort of. Yes, namespace, yes. equivalent of a Linux namespace, I think was the intention. But yeah. that would be my take on it. Uh, I think this one <coughs> did come out of did come out of the survey that was interesting. Uh, everybody wanted Docker. That was like the other thing that Core should be paying attention to. So this would be a prerequisite, effectively. So like C groups and groups and namespaces. Yeah. So who put that there? Who wants to be in? We need a we need a victim. Who added that? How about that? Oh, the magic powers have failed. Oh. That's anonymous coward or goat or whatever names them. I will say that this kind of thing. This is very useful for us at IX. For uh, screen apps, I'm doing. I'm basically at jail where I turn off as many security features as possible. <laughs> Just want a separate group. So my question is, do we is that not already like doable? Then? Well, that that there's some or what's there's some bugs, but some of them are getting fixed, and that's why I'm, I'm curious to hear about what more people are doing. That's why I'm just mentioning that we're I'm actively doing it just so I don't need to tell my devs to pull PHP into the base of Green App, so that will get shot. <laughs> 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 Possibly deserve this stuff, but um, sorry. Um, so who put it up there? Like seriously, is it IRC wall to take credit? Like it was, it was on there when we opened the page. Right. Like it's on. So. Oh, okay. Can he? Can we ask? We'll move on. Can someone point on IRC to get clarification for what's missing or more detail? Uh, we're going to move on. We just claimed it doesn't work. <laughs> well, that's not very helpful. Okay. Well, we need more info. Um. Yeah. Give more detail. All right. I think we, we already talked about some of these overall drivers. Remove all SCSI drivers to allow CAM modernization. That's fine with me. Um, and Warner's going to own that. That's great. We removed like the East. I think we removed a lot of the eyes. But we removed all the eyes. Then we. I don't know why it's going to be like I would know. Well, I'm kind of, I'm just, the drivers isn't the hard part of CAM modernization. That might be true. You're going to own CAM modernization. I'm looking at someone who worked a lot with Cam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we needed a picture of that. <laughs> I'm fine with this update when they send it provides progress. Well, and yeah. I don't even know what you mean by old SCSI drivers, like the old Netflix drivers, or? That's a good question. You should, what, what are, Warner means parallel SCSI. Um, and in particular, some of, the, some of the crumpier drivers that um, you have in the world. Big workaround to Cam. Well, I mean, it's, it's one, like when, when Dan needs to do the voltage drives, I don't use the MCD driver because the the depth of them is just so amazing at this point. It does. Good to know. And for for 162 or 320, 3.0 is really strong in it. Oh, yeah, don't use the plug. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll let the because he's crazy. Story, to fight story. Out. Um, story. <laughs> kill crypto, crypto already in the thread about that on Mark. If you didn't read it, then you don't get to say anything here. Um, no, I'm not such a good reader. Who could have said, I think I know what this means, Alan. But is this about like dealing with what we move what about the EFI into an EFI partition and how you deal with that with mirrors and things? Code after you upgrade your Okay. Like one tool that figures out what your system is set up as. Well, if you did, if you install your system this way, do this. So if you solve an NP-complete hard problem, I think there's a lot of business opportunities that you would have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, better <laughs> script to fix all the things. Okay, the things will want. Um, more better if loop documentation. Okay, and I will yes. 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 Yes, please. So I know who asked for it, and I yes. Firmly agree that is a one. Then I use one to work on that. I know we've kind of talked. I mean, we have a group of people who meet up with the phone call. Yeah, and that's why I put it up there. Yeah. I've been working on IFC drivers for a while. Okay. Well, I know. Ed, uh, it's, 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 Ed had one of his students work on an inflip driver with the goal of getting documentation. And we got a driver. Uh, we may not have succeeded in quite as much documentation. Um, but. Got me. That works. The graphics team is not here, 
install graphical network to install. Oh, I have this thing called system install from Fridges D4. <laughs> Sorry. That worked pretty well. <laughs> I know. So you could script it. <laughs> I gave a talk about evil ways to script the darn thing where you write scripts that where you invoke shell scripts that generate the little scripts and do the custom menu. That was horrible. <laughs> code that generates code is always fun. All right, I'm going to try to get this list so we can turn around and talk to people. Um, code shell. Okay. Do you want to elaborate on that more, Brian? About our code? Uh, from what I remember, it's you assign a limit to jail, but it ends up being a process case. So what I want to do is be able to see if this jail can only have a certain percentage of CPU or memory. Yeah. So much of the system resources. Okay. So for the live stream. The idea is that ARCON allows you to set per process limits that are kind of per jail. So the jail can assess per process limits, and Brian wants like jail wide limits. Like I want to cap, I want to treat, it's kind of, I want to treat the jail with this kind of job thing and cap the usage of the job. Uh, Michael's looking at me really confused. Do that. It's, uh, uh, R oh, sorry, RCTL lets you set limits per jail by name. Yeah, but it doesn't do what I want. I think that the question would be if you set like a CPU limit, imagine if our CPU limit actually worked. So, you know, one alternate universe. Um, if you set a CPU limit of like 10% CPU, is it that every process in that jail gets 10% of CPU? So if I have 10 of them, I still use the whole thing? Or is it the whole jail is constrained? Okay. From what I found, it was more per process, even in the jail. Because I feel like, and that even is part of my implementation because I remember we're already in this alternate universe where the CPU limit works, but even the net alternate universe, I don't know that it works that well. Does the same thing apply to high thread for VCPUs? Meaning? Our, our control for a VM is going to have some number of VCPUs in it. There's no way to resource restrict that set of threads. I believe all our, our resource limits are. And only to granularity of processes, I think. Well, the people that have used resource control, if you actually put load on the system, it's like as soon as you compile that in, I want it to tank. That, that was our experience with using it in the last year. Uh, so that's our compile that option. I do care about performance. So that seems like a prerequisite. If you're concerned about like micro, micro resource management, you need to deal with the macroscopic issues first, which is like a 10x hit. <coughs> It seems nice in theory, but it doesn't seem like it's getting used, because I guess my point is. OK, well, I'll go through. We talked about that. Yeah. yeah. So folks with this and I can talk more offline. Uh, so you want to lie about certain fiscals in a jail. OK, I think that I understand what that means. GNN is going to do the audio book? Only GNN? Does he know? Oh, a kernel API API. Wow. Oh yeah. That's that's the that's the best worst thing. Huh? <laughs> that's a two-horned unicorn. Yeah, that's. You're not that brave, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk about pony. Uh, right, we can skip ponies, <laughs> unicorns. Better sound support. That's Ooh, an actual one. Yeah. That's, yeah. All right. Yeah. So who puts it? Because I, I can add my name to this list, which is I have this nice, very shiny laptop that I can control the volume of the kiwi, which is annoying until I suspend and resume, and then the kiwi turns into a little. Tss, tss, tss. And that's always I'll skip until the one of that either after suspend and resume. So. <clears throat> Better sound support. No, no I'm not, I'm not <laughs> fixing it. <laughs> I should validate if you make my laptop not suck with, with audio. Um, who had who put that down? Anybody else who wants to add their name? Or anybody still wants to work on it? How about that? I'm only going to validate that if you show me a magical patch and commit it, that I will tell you if it works. Who has sound support? All right. I don't even have a only have a viable owner for that. Okay. Who that added this to the list? But John Bruder is the only person I've seen actually touch the time driver, but it was mostly studying how to do the patches. Uh, several years ago, Alexander Moten did as well. 
Are you willing to write like a white paper, like write up like a description of what you worked on and not to do the work? Yeah, sure. I can speak to anybody who is interested to work on that. Okay. I'll take the list. You can at least get a point of contact for the purposes of this. Anybody else want to talk about that? Or we'll forget about it and say it's this job later. Not helping. It's not on the mic. Um, we're not going to talk about guys like <laughs> <laughs> wow. noise is actually not helpful as much as it is better. Um, we're going to skip all this. So with GCC, is this uh, is this making compiler RT have more built-in for modern versions of GCC? Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, gotcha. Another init system. Okay. okay. Anyone familiar with this one besides Crestle and Erickson? Okay. No one more on it. I think I'm mainly with the bug work. Okay. Let's scroll up. I have a feeling that it's, uh, no. Pretend I'm not a Mac scroll panel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, that's it? All right. Okay. Well, we can have one. Um, hand tally lock out after any the pen tally an existing module or is this a new module you want to run? It's an existing one. Okay. It, it, it exists in Linux. We don't have it. Okay, so it's not an open pen that I presume either. No. Like our own stream? We have to write it all. Okay. So maybe you can put Des next to your name on that one too. Huh? Maybe you can put Des next to your name on that one too, since you have to coordinate with Des, presumably. He might have even have opinions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Three problems. I, I'm making no value judgment in a way. Okay. Do you want to talk to elaborate more about <coughs> optimized priorities? Or or is that like you should have come yesterday if you yeah, wanted to build a restaurant? Um so with um with existing swap uh, devices as we have them now, uh they're they're uh, written to a use in a in a round robin fashion. So you might want to have your faster devices used first, so you assign them a higher priority, and uh, also uh, add this add, uh, trip support, just like Linux does. So basically oh, okay. you're doing, you know, what I want to do is, is implement what Linux already has. Okay. So. Okay, I think I'm, for the next one, I think that's self-explanatory one or is, is Warner if he wants that? Is he going to work on that? Or is it just he doesn't want it? Maybe he'll work on that if he has time. Okay, so now we can open it up for the audience, the remaining time that we have. Um, what are some things that you haven't already added to the wiki and that don't involve removing things or ponies or bike sheds that you would like to have? Or maybe you, you'd like to work on it that are feasible in a two year time frame? Frequency 32 priority. Okay, parity for FreeBSD32. Um, do you mean we can run all x 6 binaries, or do you mean on things that aren't x86, FreeBSD32 being as good as i 6 um, I, I, I mean that you should be able to run uh, <coughs> i 3 6 in this case. That you should be able to take the current install and make it run everything on the 64 plane. Is that monthly where it's the same version yeah. as the one you can use? Yeah. And you can always do that. Okay. Yeah. okay. So we can. There are quite a few bugs. I, any, any, okay. any assertions to the contrary are not true. If you want to add any other time. variants of that, like FreeBSD32 yeah. on things that are on x86, I, I, I or do you not care that much? Yeah, I, I don't buy x64. Yeah. Yeah. That's a different feature. Yeah. Right now we have weird gaps. Like we have, we think, we pretend the sys underscore version of some sys also works, and it's decided that it does not. 
Right. So, I mean, do we want to add that as a separate line item, or do we not care about that? I'm not putting my name on making it work. Okay. Anybody else care about Thermo Farm, Route 64, or refrigerant Nephilim? All right. So, for this, you're really going to compile storage and arm things, put on a brand new. Yeah, you have legacy version of ARM? No, we have, we have, we have, 30, we have 32 bit code. Yeah, there's not support for any uh, trains to run on this. Or any people that actually do work as well. That is true. <laughs> All right. That is even when you pay them. <laughs> <laughs> you might take a look at. All right. Uh, well, uh, well played. Uh, okay. Sure. 64 or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Apple's using 32 bit ARM 64. So do you care about AR thirty two by the way, as opposed to whatever they I don't remember how they're spelling the, yeah. the thirty two bit ABI for sixty four bit, but, but uh, that might be yeah, I know Apple's using that watch, so it's sixty four I something Well there's like the X thirty two type thing yeah, and then there's also like but there's not there for is that what never mind. Okay. Well soon you mean playing thirty two bit as opposed to like yeah. thirty two bit. Yeah. 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 Right, okay. All right. And there are bits for that upstream, but it probably yeah, needs yeah. to refine mostly it. works. Mostly, wow. Yeah. That's, it's also good. missing pieces, but. I expect that. Yeah. All right, we'll start going this way, Mark. For now. Or, okay, Mark. Just get it scrapped off the DLC. Okay. And we can kind of put uh, one of the guys, um, so snapshots can be, um, in the have, you could put, let's go back up the have, I think, this is a Sergio Waste, I can't remember yeah. else, he's working on like a library to support, like in general, not as a snapshot, but just in general, a library to allow Beehive to support different things besides raw disk interfaces. Yeah, I think we'll, so the basic read write support is there, but the actual snapshot functionality or like it, well, we have, well, we have can only do raw disk images. Yeah, it's a separate project that allows you to even deal with writing to things that aren't raw disk images. Exactly. Right, but I mean, it's oh, but on top of that snapshots, would, sorry, would be on top of that, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, so that's, okay. it, that, that seems like the right direction, but it, I don't know that I mean, that's just the really not working for those things. Like, okay. beyond getting, you know, basic read writing. Okay. What's right. the, the search of name for the Um. Like S E R G I U, first name and your last name is W E I S Z. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, you guys are sorry. This is on the All right, this is yeah. fine. Whatever. We talked about BBR last yesterday in the network group. See how it's ended up in the news. Jill, probably a book that's on my screen. Sure. Did you go to raise that, Michael? No okay. I have another one here, uh, a pound related thing. I'm not sure what I would want to put it in the have or want. Uh, I've written a code already, which is uh, to bring us, you know, bring our PAM uh, login access up to parity to, to what Rand already has. Okay. So I don't know where, where do we want to put that. Well, it sounds like so it's you have the code, code. Code. I have the code. I just have to put it up and put that Well, that's, well, that's, that's not the have. have. I mean, the have, have can mean have. like it needs something to be upstream. Okay. You probably, I suspect that would need to I go by open hand. Yeah. But yeah, and I didn't say I talked to to Jess about that. Either. Right. Okay. So, have login access improvements, and you can put site and that is stuff. All right. So what else got added that we while we were nested jail and the loop back working again? Okay, at least there's a lot of different <laughs> that's as a considered a bug fix, but it breaks with your error for a nested jail and it's no good workaround. So do you and do you already need to have a cage fight? Probably. Okay. <laughs> we'll sell tickets and popcorn. All right. Oh, you're just cleaning up the URL. Sorry. All right. Break up this net. I'll, uh, no, I don't have. You had interesting comments about that yesterday, didn't you, Steve? 
about breaking up ifnet or, or adding excesses for ifnet? Yeah. And then there's well there's 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 a couple of things. Um, <coughs> one is the, the what we call what we called before the DRV API, which is the that that accessor functions for IFnet and uh, IFnet becomes an okay to the the other is the uh, the higher goal implementations. Yeah. Some of the driver API stuff is being undone by others. Yeah. But if we actually go ahead and do the breakup of IFnet into something equivalent to what we have, then the need for the API to pass the mark and go away. Okay. And that's more of the higher goal interface. Okay, so this so this is you, this is not someone else claiming they want to do something just like you. Yeah, it, it would be easy for anybody else who wants to do interfaces at large scale. Okay, so do you two own that, or do one of you own that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, it's one of the things that I need people that are interested in, in doing that to help out, because okay. it's not something that I would be able to do by myself. Fair enough, okay. It's it's not well, I mean, the, the person is just an owner. It, yeah. you, know, that, you could either do all the work for something small, or you could be the champion who goes and like chases other people and makes sure it eventually gets done. Yeah, yeah. One of the things is just get, getting people to know who is interested in it and who would be willing to help. Okay. It's, it's <clears throat> okay. Uh, we talked about that yesterday. Um, so I can just ooh, um, so for those of you who weren't in the network session yesterday, um, one of the questions was, why doesn't BBR use our congestion, our internal TCP congestion control framework? And the answer was, our congestion control framework doesn't have a reference to BBRDs. Is that inaccurate? Yeah. And this is about addressing that, I believe? Okay. I'm looking for lines. Okay. 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 But more than BBR. Sorry. Okay. All right, anything else somebody wants to add in the room? Yes. Um, I'd like to see a, uh, it's a bit like the Twitter the Docker mindset, but actually done the PUP way. So one thing where you can create a jail, tell what file rewards you want, and if there's three in the file system, you just have it run things from the package all up and ship it. And that's really what the Twitter was implementing the previous thing that Docker provided. Okay, so kind of like the prepackaged like a little, I don't want, like an image, but it's not just a bare image, it's like a application bundle image. Yeah, you can imagine that it might even be possible to add another extension to the package that says, here's the extra more things you need to put that thing in its own little jail every time. So this really sounds like IOK plugin. As soon as there's a request on IRC to repeat the question. Okay. <clears throat> um, oh, trying to, so, I'll try to describe it and tell me if I'm quite right. Um, you want kind of pre-packaged, pre-existing things that are previously bundled with a set of applications, or like the there, previous two equivalent of a Docker image. We're just equivalent of a Docker image. Fine, I will say that. Is that good enough for IRC? Yeah. Simply by saying one one command that allows you to create the file system, the jail, and the network, and three file rewards. Okay, so one command for the file system network packages, gongles, yada yada. Michael. IOK and IOK plugins, it's all there. It looks like the normal thing, but it doesn't have to be naturally there. Uh, it does now. It does now. It does now. It's a pony. So is it called IOK pony? Yeah, it's a pony plugin. <laughs> 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 All right, you win today. <laughs> Sounds like we need a journal I'm, article or something yeah. like that. Yes, so you're going to write a journal article about IOK Pony? It could be a worker page. You didn't say that yet, you're a guest. You can delegate, Michael, but you'll, you'll be able to work. Be great for the next issue. Um, I'll put my name down for that, yeah. All right. Is that one? All right, good. Okay. Anybody else have something they want to do or would like to have? Ed wants to have 64 bit time. 
he's been voluntold that he wants to have 64 bit chimes. He volunteered in. himself on my Or, <laughs> or deprecate i386. I was going to say, are we just deprecating i386? Like currently. Mm. Close enough. Yeah. Yeah. Time seems fundamentally a kernel issue. It's actually probably <laughs> not too bad um, as long as we peg the binaries <coughs> differently and have another ABI that's some other are, are we going to do? Well, no, <laughs> we're just, it'll just be. Are we finally going to have an X32 ABI? ABI? So, uh, all right, what do folks think about having an X32 ABI on MD64? They don't know the X that. Yeah, so well, what did you think before Linux decided they were going to remove it and deprecate it? And now what do you think? Is it, yeah. Um, and my guess is that it would, it would be like on an island if we tried to do it at this point in time. TJP says we should bring back our uh, PC thing. Who? TJP. Okay. <laughs> I could find, okay. So is someone willing to work on, why is there so much white space? Oh, no, is someone oh, willing to Because there's stuff on the scroll off to the right that's Oh. Peanut gallery commentary is not important. <laughs> yeah, they're not helping. Um, so, IPFW state scene and fellover. Someone interested in working on that? Then who wrote it down? <laughs> <laughs> that was Crest. And then he just deleted it. <laughs> Jeez, all right, fine. Okay, next. I don't have everything you need, we could be done for this session. I was working with, um, when you're using uh, JML IMAP, um, the MF sort of where you have hidden memory. Okay. So if, you're, if, you're on, if you're on a big, Are you using S -bit? No, I'm saying like no, it, it reserves space for S -bit. Yes, yeah. And so that that memory can never be used by the M map. What if you set your data limit to zero? Uh, then you have a problem. First, you have a problem trying to go to the app still because the L five is going to look at the limit. Mm -hmm. your, 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 the data segment for your binary is trying to load for your app. It's a big problem for us. So it's like an option to like. Effectively, tap <coughs> data at the end of the actual data of the assessment binary and not worry about reserving. Well, you would rather have a way to say we're not using S break at all. That's, what I'm, that's, what, that's what I'm thinking. That's, 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 that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. An option away, which is the effective data limit is whatever the binary statically asks right. for at the end and don't like right. give the rest of the gap of the resource one. Yeah, because we, we have a problem where like we, we're, we've been using switching over to say mm -hmm. use S break because it couldn't scale on the MF size. Oh, so, dear. Okay. Because we have a big Integration yeah. data gets mapped in, so then we end up can only scale like on 400 megs, and on the S break side it was 1 point something gigs. Okay. And so that's a problem. So, yeah. No S break. So, and I think Mark was nodding his head. Yeah. Because I think you're willing to work on it? Yeah, I, I can. And that was <coughs> truncate from shared memory. Who wrote that, and what do you mean? Chris. What does he mean? He doesn't like when you get page faults? Like what? Like you ask for a page fault if you truncate the page up under MF at the end. Is it MF in shared MF in shared memory can cause six to seven weeks? Yes, that's the that's that's the feature. Yeah, right. <laughs> if I take the file and shrink it, then I'm doing undefined behavior. Six right. right. is your friend. Don't do bad things. Yeah, like Stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the way the MAP works. I'm sorry. Right. Okay, we can strike that one. Next. Okay, well, um, so we have about 15 minutes until lunch, which looks like it's here. Um, so I'll go look at lunch in a second. We also have some other stuff at the bottom. That has showed up here. Colin, do you would you like to come? Uh, well, let's talk about what we have to find. What about Okay. Uh, first. 
So let's hang out for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll come talk to you about t-shirts, and I'll also go look and figure out lunch, maybe we'll get started with lunch. Does that sound good? All right, thank you guys.